Hello and welcome to our member spotlight. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Daria Valenza from Carbonics. Daria, welcome and would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, good morning and thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Daria Valenza. I am the founder of Carbonics. Tell us a little bit about the, the impact Carbonics wants to make on the world. What are you changing and why? Our mission is to provide access to critical remote data at scale. And this is to create safe and sustainable environments. So we design and build intelligent long range aerial data systems, meaning drones that capture high resolution imagery and scans of ground infrastructure. So as they say, knowledge is power and an eye in the sky information empowers decision makers by giving confidence through accurate and up to date real time ground truth. Good aerial data impacts safety by limiting interventions in the field and reduces costs by allowing timely, proactive and targeted maintenance. What's the differentiator that makes Carbonics uniquely able to deliver this impact? Uh, our technological edge is the ability to achieve extraordinary efficiency in terms of unit cost per kilometer or hectare uh, in our remotely piloted aircraft systems. And we do this with proprietary technology in terms of the carbon fiber airframe, the systems that go into it, the operating procedures that we've developed, uh, basically, we can fly drones for longer, carrying more weight and getting better data in a stable platform, uh, in, regardless of weather conditions. And this makes uh, an attractive alternative to, to using crewed aircraft. Uh, it's safer, it's more effective, cheaper, and is just a better way of doing things. How is Carbonics approaching commercialization of new technology? How do you ensure the market will adopt your new way of doing things? Uh, collaboration is really the key. We collaborate with customers and bring them on the journey. So we're proposing a very new way of doing things. Uh, it's it's different and um, it's better, but uh, we need to give them the confidence that it's achievable and practical and we'll do what they need. Uh, and so we're an OEM. We, we build the aircraft, but we also provide all the support and the service around it uh, to make sure that customers are comfortable adopting um, and it's really about values. We, we do what we say. Uh, we make sure that we make the expectations very clear and we work with them as our capability improves and the environmental and regulatory sort of um, uh, settings improve. Uh, and that allows them to take advantage of what we have now, knowing that it's going to get better over time. And they know they need to get involved early to, to properly understand, get experience and grow this capability. What does the long-term path look like in terms of technology development? So will automation, AI, and robotics play an increasing role um, as you're offering scales? Uh, absolutely. So we're on a path from automatic to autonomous is, is really the short way of putting it. Um, basically, right now we're going out there flying and um, sort of one pilot, one aircraft, uh, still very efficient because the pilot's on the ground, the aircraft can fly beyond visual line of sight. Uh, again, that cost per hectare or cost per kilometer is already very low. Um, as we grow, uh, we plan to implement a one-to-many model. Uh, we have multiple autonomous aircraft uh, managed remotely by a single operator in a centralized control center. Uh, obviously, for this to become a reality, uh, there's multiple capabilities that need to be stacked, and, and that's what our team is working on over time. Uh, so things like detect and avoid, self-diagnostics, extremely long range comms and sophisticated autonomous decision making on the aircraft and you know swarming basically aircraft to aircraft peer to peer communication uh, so really the plentiful and ubiquitous aerial data vision that we have uh, really will be enabled by scale and that means uh, multiple flat platforms uh, able to operate for extended periods with minimal human intervention in a coordinated shared airspace with network communications and peer-to-peer -peer support. Thank you very much. Doria, where can you be reached? Uh, our website is www.carbonics.com.au. Um, probably that's the best way to find our contacts. And if you want to stay up to date with what we're doing, our LinkedIn page uh, is updated quite frequently. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.